Hey guys, welcome to another video. Um, today I am going to be showing you guys how to basically make a good park or a good start in Theme Park Tycoon 2. Um, first thing you want to do is go and when you first spawn in and create your park, first thing you want to do is hit skip tutorial because the tutorial is garbage. Anyway. Next thing you want to do, clear out your entire park, right? So it's your like control shift X, I believe. Yeah. And then basically you hold you hold click and like it gets rid of everything. Control shift X. Done. Everything in this park is done. Okay? I have a few achievements unlocked, so like I can do good roller coasters. You guys might want to stick with the littler ones, but like, this works. It's a good grinder park until you can actually get a good park. Unless you just want to stick with the tutorial. But yeah. Anyway, so what you do, you go, and first things first, you gotta close this off to the public, right? Can't put pathway with the public allowed in. Because then they just mess up your park. They just throw garbage everywhere. So, what you want to do, you want to go out four. Okay? Four. One. Make like a C, and then go out four. One, two, three, four. Alright? And then you basically just go and just fill the rest in. Just like that. Alright? And then, like, you take it, try to make every two sections so go ahead and expand through two more and like that and you go like that like that like that like that right something like that okay now this is gonna seem kind of cheap, but what you want to do, actually, is you want to kind of get like a good roller coaster, right? Something that's not too expensive. So like, this is way too expensive. This is too expensive. Something like a multi launch or a steel coaster or maybe a face. No, face turbine. Don't. Yeah, they do go backwards. But anyway, I'm just gonna go steel coaster for those of you who aren't. Well. Gods. And then what you do is you take it, you have it like that, right? And then you go build up one and straight up. And then that's your that's your coaster, okay? You don't put chain mail in there or chains or whatnot. And then you just gotta go build exit, right? Train length. Oh, okay, yeah. And then you gotta kind of take the train length down, right? And then you build an entrance right there. And you take this part, delete those parts actually. Um, and you have to go to Q pads, go marble Q pads, and then like that. See? So let's do that again, right there. And then this time I'm gonna take a different roller coaster. But like, why not? I'm gonna go like this, go up one, straight up, just that same track design. Oh my god. I screwed up, I screwed up, and I screwed up more. I forgot to leave room for um, an entrance, so let's go ahead and delete that. Um, copy, put that stuff down. Paths there and like that. Oh, nope, can't have that one there. Kind of copy and paste that right there. Alright. And then what you gotta do is you go this and you go edit. No, you go train length one and you build an entrance near your Q paths and then you build an exit so people can get on and off as they wish, right? 
And then you just go ahead and open them up when you're done. I forgot to open this one. Like 25 and this one's 30. That'll get you some okay money. Now that you have those, right? You gotta make a food area. I suggest getting like the cheap stands like the that, those, you know, that type. That type of food stands. Um and then well, you really need trash cans because otherwise your park rating is like not not very good. So like you put trash can every two, that'll cover you, right? like that yeah and then you take like whatever your style is honestly my style is just this trash can you can really use any of them and then I kind of just go and like personally I have no collisions but if you want to you can like put them here and like have two spaces in between them for like benches and stuff you have like three I mean, for no collisions, guys, you could format it like this. It doesn't really matter how you format this, just as long as you have the three aspects, just seating, garbage cans, and lights, you know? Uh, let's see here. Ah, I keep missing it. Trash cans and benches, 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 seats. And then, I'm just gonna take one of these benches, because they honestly are the best. I think, anyway could have it formatted like that, really up to you. I like mine formatted a little bit differently. I like to have mine mostly put like this, and I like to have my lanterns above my trash cans, cause like, it just looks cool. Definitely if you do have Robux, go in and um, buy the no collisions, cause it just helps you so much. Um, seats. Then you take it, actually, you know what, going with style, I'm just going to put in these benches because they honestly look better. And they increase your rating better. Um, let's see. It's like that. And then your park is ready to let people in. So you go to, um, go to paths, right? You go and get your marble path. And then your entire outside, based on that. You go and you click on your information there. And you just make it... $25 to go into the park. Let's see if people go in. Nope, too expensive. Maybe I'll just stick with the standard 8D. Yep. Like, food jacks. I think the perfect pricing is honestly 12. Because, like, you get the most out of it. Let's see if people complain about it. And you just have you just have it like this. Yep. Go like that. And then you see, people go on. People go on to the rides, right? Okay, come on. Get going. Okay, they go up. <laughs> and they go back down. And that's it. And then they're satisfied with it, you know? They're just, they're satisfied. These people are so easily satisfied. I've gotten like tons of smiles after this. See, look, look, look. So easily satisfied. These people are so easily satisfied. Um, yeah. And then you can go ahead and just keep expanding this way. Just keep expanding out east. Like, I've got a couple of, like, advancements here. Obviously, I have, I have, like, this extra land bought. You usually just have this little square here, but, like, yeah. It's easy enough to buy land with this technique, because, like, it's cheap. This technique gets you a lot of money really, really fast. Okay. Four space. So that's Cupaz, marble, like that, like that. And obviously, with your roller coasters, some don't go backwards, so like you want to make sure that you have some that go backwards. Can't use stuff like steeplechase or whatnot. 
or the, like the um, inverted coasters. Can't use those. These just take up too much room, and I don't even know if they can go backwards. But like, yeah. Um, and then these I don't think can go back. No, this, those ones can go backwards. But like, yeah. Um, basically it. And you just keep going like this. Of course, you can't go straight up, so let's just build you like that. If they can't go straight up, just build them like this. Uh, let's see here. Build entrance. Exit. Open. See? And people start coming to it. So I kinda put the trash cans and bench it down. And then people will start coming to it. Yeah. For a park this size, I think I'm doing pretty good. See? I'm bringing in income at a steady rate. I've already got 26 guests. For a park this size, that's not bad. Seems like 20. Maybe I'll just lower them all to 10. They seem to be pretty good at 10. What? It died. Ah! People are dying. You see, I thought this one could go backwards. In earlier experiments, like... This one can't go backwards, apparently. That sucks. Why- why are you still- why are you still waiting in line? Bruh, why do you still- why do you still wait in line? People just died on this. Oh my gosh. Mine was bots, I tell ya. Let's see here. Rides. Roller coasters. Um. What's up? There. Most expensive ride. This is sure to reek in some payment. Hopefully I have enough to do this, you know? Okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got enough to do that. Um, build an entrance. Huh? Oh yeah. Most of these you gotta kind of shorten them down. Pretty much if you can shorten the ride down to like one car. If it's like multiple car usual, um, you can usually um, like yeah. You can usually uh, use them for this technique. Because you have to admit, this is pretty brilliant, though. And if they can go straight up, they can go backwards. So, I mean, yeah. Oh, people are asking for hat shots now. I'm gonna wait till I get a bit of money in. And I'll go buy some hat shots, I guess. Get rid of those. Other stalls. Get hats. Okay. Gotta wait and see if just gotta wait till they give me enough money. There we go. Um got enough money for a dinosaur hat. Okay. Go. Nope. Restrooms are 250, right? They're very important. At this point, your park rating doesn't really matter at all. It's like Oh my gosh, come on! Come on, people. Come on, people. Give me 250. You're at 248. There you go. There you go. See? 35 guests now. It's not a bad park design, honestly. It works for, like, grinding. And then, like, you can also just swoop around and build your real park in the back here. While you just have this getting you a little bit of money. Or you could make this your entire park and just have rows and rows of this. And then like a few actual rides in the back here. And some like real roller coasters and just wait until like people start paying you a ton of cash and just install an auto clicker or something. While you go to school or while you're at work you can kind of grind on this. Because auto clickers don't let you stop, stop a vital. So like, yeah. 
you get an auto clicker in this, you can just sit, let it sit there all day and it'll just get you more and more money, you know? So yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, with this, I could probably end up with 50k by the end of the day, just with this. So yeah, it's the best grinding technique. And these guys are so easily satisfied. See, I can just... Okay, come on, ride. Wee! Oh, it ended. See that? And then you get these people giving you smiley faces. They're like, yay, that was the best ride ever. Anyway. So yeah, that's how you do that. So yeah, I already have a one star rating. Seems like that's a lot better than one star because 39 people are at my park right now. And then you can also kind of just keep expanding out and putting in more rides and stuff, you know? Just keep going. So that's bench, trash, branch, trash, bench, trash. Okay. Most importantly is your trash cans because that keeps your park clean. And like having a clean park in this game is like everything. The higher is your rating and like just overall helps you. Trash can, all, oh my gosh, what happened? But yeah, you yeah, got you get like benches and stuff. If you really want to go fancy, you get like go to um scenery, get fences, metal fences. Get a metal fence, that's not bad. Kinda, that honestly looks really well. And like, the more decorations you have, the, basically the better your park rating is. See? Have fences like that? Yeah? That's how you do it. There's your basic grind park. And then like, over here, you can add things like Little rides, like cups, stuff like that. Ooh, do I have any cheap tent rides? Ooh, cheap tent. This is honestly a pretty good ride for here. Let's see here. Space rings. Pretty basic though. This is 3,500 though. Yeah, let's just go with like. Honestly, I kind of want to put down like. A teacup and a spiral slide or something like that. Or maybe I'll do you know what? No, I'm just gonna wait till till I get thirty five hundred. I'm just gonna wait till I get thirty five hundred. Another big tip in this game is you need you need Q paths. Like they're what basically holds up your lineup. They're what supports your line. If you don't have Q paths, you're basically screwed. Okay, come on. Come on, come on. Give me 3,500. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn on some music here until like I get 3,500. So yeah. <laughs> Oh, you gotta claim my daily reward. Alright, so. My daily reward gave me enough. And now I will put down this tower thing. Go like that. Entrance. Exit. Q-Paths. 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 Marble. Just like that. And then regular paths to the exit. Yeah, see? Then you just open her up. She's ready to go when people start going in. Now let's make up face rings. Entrance, exit. Q paths, marble. 
regular pahas. More marble. And yeah. You basically get it. You basically get this. See, people start being dumb too. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. That's your basic grinding park. Well, once you get more money, you can start going in here and getting some water rides done, you know, stuff like that. 3,500. What is up with the 3,500? Well, I'm gonna get a water slide in here. How big is it? Water rides are okay, rotate. Okay, give me a break. That's huge. Gotta go up to there. Okay, now gotta go to land, 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 land. Block manipulation. Five, sure. Yeah, I think that was actually water rides. I actually got it. That's surprising. Um, yeah. Never mind, I didn't get it. Um, I gotta go get, go get my block manipulation done again. Manipulate that one. Um, then I basically just need to add water. Like that. Now I just wait till 3500 and ready to go. Uh, 3,500, here we come. Anyway, going back on in 3, 2, 1. Five hundred, and let's put that water ride down. Let's put that ride. All right. Um. So yeah, I'm going to make a next episode, and I'll see you guys later.